Really quick, guys, I do have a sponsorship deal here with Messy Modding Store. Uh, pretty much, it's just a store where you can go and buy modded accounts for Red Dead Redemption 2 online or for GTA Online if you're interested in that. And uh, you can also, like for the PC version, you can buy straight up just cash, gold bars, whatever. Uh, and then for the consoles and stuff, you can already you can buy accounts that already have gold bars, you know, already have money, uh, certain levels, whatever, just depending on what you're looking for. And yeah, I'll link this in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and go check it out if you are interested in that. If you're not, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, the Editor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a solo money and XP method in the game of Red Dead Online uh, for this week. Okay, so until this Tuesday coming, until next Tuesday, you'll be getting double money on some of the crime missions uh, that you get from the blood the blood money contract missions from either Sean, Anthony, Joe, or, you know, the, the ones that you go to for the blood money stuff. Uh, they're, they're symbols like a... It looks like a stranger mission symbol, but it's like a money bag with a money sign on it or a skull with a money sign on it. Not the bounty symbol, but you know what I'm talking about. But you go to those guys and you're going to look at their blood money missions. And the ones that are paying out double this week are Stagecoach Stick Up, A Lit Fuse, Wrongful Property, and Back Pay. So if they have any of those missions available, you can do them, and I do advise that you spend as much time as you possibly can in it, uh, because what it's going to do is it's going to give you double the money that you would get normally, is what you'll be getting. I believe it's the same amount of XP and gold, but you will be getting double money. Now, you don't really get too much money from these, so it's not the best benefit in the world, but one of these missions I did get $60 from, so that's pretty damn good, and then the other one I got like roughly 30 bucks for. But in this one, this one was really easy, I just had to go somewhere, kill somebody, and loot them, and then go to a stagecoach and then pretty much kill everybody there and then pick up a bag and take it to somebody and uh, like I said I do advise that you wait until the last minute because you get paid more the longer you're in a mission if you want to know why that is it's because of rooftop rumble on GTA online way back in the day that's why they made it to where the longer you're in a mission the more money you get because people were completing that mission rapidly back to back to back and getting 25,000 for it every single time in GTA uh, and then they kind of changed how missions work and then it carried over to Red Dead. I didn't know that until recently, but yeah, that, that's why it's like that. But for this one, after waiting and giving the bag to them, I got 28 bucks, so not that great. On this one right here, it was a little bit of a harder mission, uh, but it took me up to the mountains and you pretty much you just go into a mine and then you have to look for some stuff, which it took me forever to find. Uh, but once you get the bag and you take it somewhere, uh, this one I got 60 bucks for. 60 bucks even, so it's making me think that I've finished some kind of challenge and I didn't actually get 60 bucks for this but I did get 60 bucks nonetheless hopefully that's what I got for doing the mission if not then you will be getting roughly half that like 30 to 40 bucks for these missions depending on which ones because I believe di uh, the different ones have different payouts yeah I just wanted to make a quick little video for this I uh, thought it was interesting and it's on the Rockstar Newswire and I wanted to make a video about it just to let you guys know just in case like you know I know a lot of you don't check that or watch videos on that stuff so I just wanted to fill you in on that if you didn't know. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then give it a like. If you dislike this video, then give it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. I'll learn all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.